Today we're going to show you how to use the build patterns options from the Silhouette Studio software. This is a great feature and works really well with the print and cut feature of the Silhouette machine and it works really awesome with the inkjet printable vinyl from expressionsvinyl.com. To get started we're just going to type something onto our screen here and then we'll drag that out and make it a little bigger make it easier to see all this and then up here we will choose our fill patterns menu these are the stock fill patterns that come with the Silhouette Studio software and you can use any of these and I believe you may be able to download additional fill patterns from the Silhouette store and it will fill all the letters in your selected shape. You can also do custom fills and these can be done with any type of image like a JPEG or a .png something like that. When you do these custom fills these are actually a, an image you're pulling from your computer that's not within the Silhouette Studio software and rather than filling your entire selection it's going to fill per cavity so if I drag something over here it's going to fill in just the V or just the I or whatever I select so to do that I'm going to select one of these images I'm going to click and drag and it comes into the software and you can see that that's filling and that looks a little bit blurry so the the trick to these custom fills is that you also have to scale your image according to the size of what you're going to do. So it can be a little bit more work. But you simply just drag those images over and now you've got a custom fill. Now if you want to manipulate your fills you can go to the advanced options here and this will work on a custom fill or anything from the stock selection of the Silhouette Studio software. So I can adjust the transparency for instance. No, I got to make sure and select my stuff first. So I can make those more transparent if you're going for that effect. Uh, pan pattern will give me this little thing here and I can grab onto it and move the fill around within the cavity that it's filling if I want to reposition that a little bit. Um, scale pattern so I mean you can you can make some adjustments here so I'm spinning this around if I want to make my pattern a little smaller I can adjust that down so it fills differently or make it larger and blurry um, you can rotate your patterns around all these are just going to change the the how the fill pattern is going to look for you. So you can adjust all of that and again you can do that with your own custom patterns like I just showed you or with the stock fill patterns available directly within the software. And that's all there is to fill patterns.